Now, Western Cape Police last week said that they had arrested two teenage boys aged between 14 and 15, believed to have been the main suspects behind the torching of 18 train carriages last month. The boys have uh, since been remanded in juvenile custody until their next court appearance in January next year. With the suspects being so young and with other stories of killings at schools, for example, by learners on each other, Questions do arise about how the law deals with young offenders. How old do you have to be before you're criminally liable? Well, to help us uh, explore some of these questions, I'm now joined by attorney Kimona Kennegan. Kimona, thanks very much for joining us. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Peter. So we are, and it's quite troubling to see young, younger and younger um, offenders getting involved in very serious crime. I mean. Torching 18 trucks, the trains worth millions is, is quite serious. So let's start unpacking this and, and unpacking what the law says. What is the age of criminal liability? At what age are you still not liable and then you start to become criminally liable? You know, Peter, in prepping mm. for this interview, I developed a greater sense of appreciation for the, for the extent of, of devastation that was mm. caused to Metro Rail. And of course, a, a, a greater sense of appreciation for the suspects, for the teenagers yeah. that were subsequently arrested. And of course, the arduous journey that now lies ahead of them. Mm. Um, in terms of criminal capacity, the position is governed by the Child Justice Act. And it's, it's broken down into three identifiable categories. The first category is that of children under the age of 10, where there is an irrebuttable presumption that the child lacks criminal capacity. Children between the ages of 10 and 14, there, rests, there lies a rebuttable presumption mm. that they lack criminal capacity. However, the onus then rests with the state and the prosecutors to prove that the, ch that the children are in fact criminally, they do enjoy criminal capacity, and the burden of proof is beyond all reasonable doubt. In cases such as this, where the suspects are 14 and 15 respectively, it is deemed, it is, there is a presumption that the child does have criminal capacity and will be tried accordingly. All right, so a 10-year-old, no matter how mature and deliberate they are, it is deemed that he could not have known what he was doing and how does the law deal with them? Do they just mm -hmm. drop the case? What do they do? There's, there's various yeah. ways in which to deal with it, again, uh, governed yeah. by the Child Justice Act. So there are, I mean, you may not be able to be tried as an adult, mm -hmm. and, and, and that, that sort of falls away, that process falls away from a criminal and, yeah. and liability perspective. Right. However, it, there has to be consequences to, to behavior and to, and to conduct yeah. that is you know, less than exemplary. And the, I mean, there, there's all sorts of things from rehabilitation yeah. to, uh, to facilities that, that focus on, on, on this type of thing where rehabilitation versus prosecution yeah. is, is the case where children under the age of 10 are concerned. Again, there have to be exceptions to the rule. Um, and and I, I'm not saying that, I've, as far as my knowledge allows, I yeah. don't know of any 10-year-old that has yeah. ever been prosecuted. But, uh, but I think rehabilitation versus criminal right. prosecution. So that's clear-cut. The, the 10 to 14 starts to become a bit, because now the state has to say, no, but he did know what he was doing. Mm. And if they did, then he's treated as if he's almost above the age of 14. Um, you know, yeah. I, I think we need to make, we yeah. need to draw a line in the sand. Yeah. Firstly, we need to be very mindful of the fact that a child is anybody below the age of 18. That's, that's right. the legal definition of a child. Right. So even if there is some level of criminal capacity, yeah. the child cannot be tried as an adult. But in saying that again, there has to be consequences to, to this kind of conduct and this type of behavior. Um, and, and once the, the state has proven that the child doesn't your criminal capacity, uh, there are still certain rights afforded to the child in terms of the Child Justice Act. Yeah. Firstly, uh, parents and legal guardians have got to be, uh, they have the right to be notified as soon as possible of the child's arrest. Secondly, the child has a right to be assessed by a probation officer um, who is also a trained social worker. Also bear in mind that children between uh, below the age of 10 uh, cannot be, or at least below the age of 14, cannot be held in a prison facility, and children over the age of 14 can only be held in a prison facility if it's the last resort. All right, so now we get into this area where it involves uh, sometimes learners that are killing each other at schools and involved in other kind of misconduct and torching mm -hmm. millions rands worth of equipment. How does the law deal with this? What's the kind of first things that they do? You pick up these guys, they're 14 and 15. 
what happens next? I understand. I yeah. mean, having done the research, that mm. they've, they've had their first court appearance and mm. that they are remanded in the custody of a juvenile facility. Um, again, it is, uh, I think, to my mind, legally and logically, it's incumbent on parents to, to be intrinsically involved in this process at all material times. Mm. So, for instance, they, the parents have a right to be, to be present during the assessment by the probation officer. They have a right to insist on a speedy assessment, and a speedy assessment is deemed as 48 hours after the arrest or within 48 hours mm. of the arrest. They also should be, uh, they have the right to verify the information and all documented evidence. Because remember, as much as they are tried and as much they are going to be tried, and as much as there are repercussions to, to their, to their behaviour, mm. they are still children and they cannot be tried as adults. But, but in saying that, it's, it, you know, it's, it's not a sort of get out of jail free card yeah. because they're minors. Yeah, because one of my worries is that adults will use children to commit crimes. And so let's look at that and say, is there any culpability where an adult sends a child to go do something, like mm -hmm. torture train, for mm -hmm. example? There has to be, Peter. I mean, uh, if, if you consider how many, how many uh, sort of very, very violent crimes have yeah. been perpetuated and have been orchestrated by people that have been sort of the middlemen, but there's, there's a mastermind behind it, and all of them are prosecuted and the sentences vary right. from, from being the mastermind of an offence to being the, the, the trigger-happy person that actually executes. So, so the only thing that varies, there's, there's, there's criminal capacity and liability from start mm. to end. The only variation comes in, uh, in respect of the sentencing. All right, and also teenagers, age 16, 17, they're fully aware, aren't they? And they need to know that there are consequences, even though you're under 18. Let's say you're found guilty. What kind of sanctions can you get if you're 17, for example? Again, at that age, which is closer to the age of majority, mm. um, I think the state would push for more, for a more sort of an offence that would carry for an adult. But again, I would have to check the case yeah. law to, to verify that. Right. Okay, so uh, again, interesting times and the, the laws are there. It seems as if there's three major age brackets, uh, but for all of them, there is some kind of sanction. What's different is how you're handled, what kind of facilities you're held in, uh, but ultimately I think it's clear that people must know that uh, there is definitely consequences for wrongdoing. Unequivocally so. All right, okay, Kimona, we're going to have to leave it there. But thanks so much indeed for joining us and uh, clarifying some of these issues for us. Thank you so Thank much you for your Peter. time.